Hello, welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. Press play though and try it on your own first. Okay, so they're asking for the solution to this equation right here. So we've got 48 equals 8 times 2 to the power of x plus 3. And I'm just noticing, okay, right away I see that we've got a variable here, term, in our exponent. That's a giveaway that we're going to be using a logarithm to probably solve it. And notice that all the choices here have logarithms in them. So let's just set this thing up and see which choice matches our solution. So we've got 8 times what? Times 2 to the x plus 3. Okay. And that's going to equal 48. Okay. All right, so we've got that. And then uh, what I want to do is isolate this 2 to the power of x plus 3. So I'm going to do that by dividing both sides by 8. I want to get rid of that coefficient. It's going to make it easier to work with. And uh, 40 divided by 8 is 6. And then we have 2 to the x plus 3 equals 6. Now at this point, um, we can solve our for our exponent right here by taking the logarithm of both sides. And in order to do that, um, I'm going to take the log base 2 of both sides. So it looks like this log base 2 of this term equals, on this side, let me just clear this off a little bit, so this is going to be um, the log base 2 of 6. Now, I chose a base 2 because um, that will essentially cancel this base out right here. Why? Because this is saying the log base 2 of 2 to the x plus 3, it's saying what power of 2 equals 2 to the power of x plus 3, and that's just x plus 3. And that nice canceling out happens because we're using a log with a base that matches the base we're given. On the right hand side though, we're not going to be able to break it down just yet. It's just log base 2 of 6. Subtract 3 on both sides and x equals the log base 2 of 6 minus 3. Now you might be saying, oh no, none of our choices match this, but um, here all of our choices are written as a natural logarithm. So we can use what's called the change of base formula. The change of base formula says that the log of any base, let's say of a number x, equals the log of any other base, let's call it a, of x, the number that uh, is in the of part of the logarithm, log base b of x, and divided by log base a of b. So in other words, you can change the base of a logarithm. Right here, our b value is 2, and we want to change it to our a value, our a base is e. That's the natural log. Remember, that natural log of x really means the log base e of x. So let's take, let's rewrite this as x equals the natural log of 6, this number here. We're following natural log base a. In this case, a is the number e of our x term, which is 6, divided by the natural log of 2. And then we have to subtract 3. So that, if we just scroll up here, is actually our choice 1. So in this problem, really, they're looking at the change of base formula. All right, hope that helped.